It is much more than he ever imagined. A Noah's Ark, smack in the middle of rural Williamstown, Kentucky. The Ark is biblical in size, and I mean that literally. 510 feet long, 85 feet wide, eight stories high. Inside, seriously, it is awe-inspiring. Tell me where we're sitting. Actually, we're sitting in the roof deck of Noah's Ark. This is the most authentic recreation of Noah's Ark in the world. Ken Ham runs a Christian ministry dedicated to spreading creationism, a literal interpretation of the book of Genesis. He believes God created the earth in six days and six nights and rejects scientific evidence that the earth is 4.5 billion years old. So taking God at his word in Genesis, dinosaurs lived beside people about 6,000 years ago. Is it an, an evangelical tool? The Ark? Oh yes, it's definitely an evangelical tool. Like Disney World, Ark Encounter is a for-profit park, except for its religious purpose. We didn't build this to be just entertainment like Disney. Uh, we built it for a religious purpose, otherwise we wouldn't have built it. The state of Kentucky is on board, ready to fork over $18 million in sales tax incentives for a little economic salvation. I think it's going to bring business into the town. How could that not be the perfect solution for rebuilding our community. Kentuckians eager for work have applied to work at Ark Encounter, but there's a catch. Ark employees must sign a statement of faith, disavowing same-sex marriage, premarital sex, and adultery. They must also believe in Genesis and Jesus Christ. So Jewish people know? If people have put their faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, they... Muslim they people? Well, if they're, if they're Muslims, they certainly don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We have about um, 600 members. So you're a pastor and you're a taxpayer? Yes, on both counts. What do you think of Ken Ham's ARC project? I believe as a Baptist in the separation of church and state, and I don't think that the state ought to be involved in promoting any particular religious views. There are kinds of laws called Sharia, where people have used legislation and the government to promote a religious faith. Uh, and I think we, as Christians, need to be careful that we continue to be Christian and to be Christian in the context of the United States. That doesn't bother Kentucky's new Republican governor, Matt Bevan, who says his administration doesn't discriminate against any worthy economic project. Ham is predicting up to two million visitors a year, and that would certainly answer some of Williamstown's prayers.